Connected Development Code has called for government's deliberate efforts towards an inclusive budgetary allocation to help tackle the rising cases of gender-based violence in states across the country. The senior program manager of the group, Lucy Abagi, uh, stated this during a three-day three empowerment training for women across six states to enable them engage with policymakers and discuss adequate funding that will address the menace. We're not asking them to, to do some policy enactment against um, violence against persons with, uh, uh, I mean, um, against gender-based violence. What we are asking for is gender-based violence is, is, is an epidemic, it's a pandemic, just like we are fighting COVID-19. If we are serious as a country to fight gender-based violence, we need this to appear on the budget. We need some kind of state action plan. We need the state to develop a plan and to put this on their budget. You understand? So that citizens can know that, yes, my government is actually working towards defending our own rights and protecting its, its citizens who happen to be victims of these cases. Everyone you see here is an advocate or is from a um, woman-led organization. So we believe they are heading something or they have some kind of influence. So we're training them so that they get to train more people in their organization or in their field on um, prevention, sensitization, responsive and consent. And then um, analyzing budget and seeing the gap within the policies and how we can bridge it together. If you look at the laws I highlighted, they were the VAP, that's the uh, Violence Against uh, Persons Prohibition, and then the Child Right Act, um, which are all applicable in the FCT, but you know, we still have issues of gender-based violence in the FCT because there are no budgetary allocations. You know, more budgetary allocations need to be really in place, and then more sensitization need to be done so that people will know the issues of violations of human rights. Because hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.